Oke, let's get the fuck out of here. <laughs> Hey guys, Amol here. I've been getting a ton of requests for, to do this, so um, here's another add-on uh, tutorial for Power Auras Classic. And uh, let me start by showing you two ways to set up these uh, these auras. Um, so once you've got the add-on installed, you do a slash power, power, boom. There you go. And um, I already have some auras set up here. I'll just disable. Well, I didn't mean to do that. <laughs> um, let me just disable this one because we're gonna use that as a, and that one as well. Okay, so we're gonna set up a, uh, an aura that uh, shows us killing machine and uh, one that shows us uh, an aura when we have a five stack on uh, the Everitis trinket, okay? And uh, yep, let's get started. So you get in here, you have nothing, right? So you click on new, you wanna make a new aura. So click on that, there you go. So you can move this around as you see fit, right? And this, this is the aura, you can change this to whatever you want. There's tons and tons of auras to choose from. So let's start by uh, choosing an aura. And there's a lot to choose from, like uh, you scroll through all of these, there's tons and tons and tons of auras that you can choose from, as you can see. There's also uh, some uh, wow textures. If you click on that, the textures change into something completely different. And um, we're gonna start with uh, making a killing machine proc. Let's do a, let's do a bullseye. Let's do a bullseye. Now you can see this green stuff. In the, some of these auras, you have to set a glow on. Otherwise, they it won't remove itself. So it, it, it'll, that that really dark uh, square that you see around, that will come up as well, and you don't want that. We'll actually set the bullseye on his face, like that, just for fun. Normally, I wouldn't set an aura like that, but let's just do that for fun. You can change the size of the uh, the aura. You can make it really big or really small by uh, messing with the size here. And let's just put that down to like 75 again or whatever it was. And click here, if you can't hit 75 on the dot, you can just do it like this instead. Whoa, okay, uh, enough messing about. And then you can change the X and Y position of it. But since you can do that by just dragging this one, there's no need to use these options at all. Um, we'll put the glow on, otherwise it'll show with that. Now, since we're making a killing machine um, buff or, or aura for us, we need to type in the exact name of the buff. And that is killing machine. Okay, so killing machine. I might actually change spec after this, uh, since we're gonna use stuff with the apparatus string it anyways. So now we've typed that in. We don't need to mess about with anything else because there's no stacks on this on this buff or anything. Um, it doesn't show when you're mounted or in vehicles, whatever. It only shows when you're alive. Fine. There's and it's used in any spec. Cool. There's nothing else we need to change here at all. You can change the color though of the uh, of the aura, so I can make it uh, red if I want to, or I can make it green or whatever. Let's make it a really gay blue, like that. Yep, that works. And then you can go into animations and change the animations down here. Remember, all this stuff is still the uh, the actual aura, so we're only working with this. So you can make all kinds of animations here. So now it's set to static. You can also set it to flashing or glowing, growing, sorry, growing, pulse, like that. Me, 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 me. Or you can say to bubble. We'll leave it on that just for the fun of it. As you guys can tell, I'm not being really like serious about this i'm just having a little fun with it <laughs> okay 
We click OK to that, and you can add a sound to it as well. Let's do that. There's all kinds of sounds in here, but that's the standard wow sounds. We don't like those. So more sounds to play. We can, there's all kinds of stuff in here. Punch. All righty. That can work. There's also, what is this? Squeaky pig? Yeah. That's really mature, but we'll go with it just for the fun of it. Um, you can go to this one as well. You can uh, add a timer so you can click show. I will actually drag that down. Uh, that's the Y position, I guess. But that has the same color as the actual buff does, but that's fine. Uh, we can also change the remove the hundreds so we'll remove that and use transparent texture sometimes there is a black uh, square around the, uh, the the timer so if you uh, use this one enable uh, use transparent textures it'll never happen it'll never go black unless you wanted to have a, a black square underneath it uh use own bam there we go now we're using its own color instead of the blue color that's on the uh, on our, our aura up there there's actually nothing else that i would that i would change in here but having a timer sometimes helps for certain things you can see how long time there's left on on the killing machine plugin if you're trying to chase a target or whatever in pvp you want to see how long time you have on, until the, the killing machine proc wears off. Um, stacks, we're not going to worry about that at all. And uh, that's about it. So now we've set that one up. And that's that's how you how you set these up. So it says killing machine here. We've uh, changed the, the aura to look the way we wanted it to. We have changed the size. We've moved it to exactly where we want. Bullseye straight in the face. And animation we've changed. We've added a sound. We've added a timer. And bam, we have an aura. So we can just click here and click there. Bam, gone. Alrighty. Now we're going to make one of Titanic Strength. I'm just going to check here because I can't remember. Actually, I'm going to go change spec. Alrighty, now I've changed spec uh, and gear. So now I'm in my PvP spec and PvE, sorry, PvE spec and gear. So let's do a slash power again. I'm just gonna check that one. I'm, I wanna make sure it's called Titanic Strength or Titanic Power, sorry. Uh, edit. And it is Titanic Power. Okay, well, instead of me just going over how I set mine up, we're gonna create a new one Titanic Power. So we know what the name is now, so I'll just put it in. Titanic Power. Okay. We know that that one stacks up to five times the Aberitis Trinket. It stacks up to five times, as you can see in the, uh, the tooltip. So we'll change this one up to equals five. That way the, the aura won't show before the actual uh, five, uh, the Trinket has reached five stacks, and we know that we need to use it. So now it's, uh, it's set to only show itself when it has five stacks. That's really simple. Now we can change the aura to whatever we want. We're gonna put a glow on just to make sure that that green shit doesn't show when the aura shows. We can uh, find a really awesome aura for it. Um, we can have a... We can have a mushroom. We can have a motherfucking mushroom and we'll have it show up here like that yet again we'll go to animation we'll do something weird with it like flame we'll have, no that's no that's a little bit much isn't it water nope don't want that either electric doesn't seem to do anything oh well orbit that's just way too weird spin nah not really just say it's supposed to be flashing yeah we'll set it to flashing we'll add a sound for it just 
to make us aware that hey you have this buff and you need to goddamn use it so we'll take the we'll take the punch boom alrighty and now we have a punch sound and we will add a timer as well and we'll move the exposition so you just keep on when it can't go any further you just release and then pull again but we'll disable the hundreds and move it right here and move this one Whoa, that was the size of it. There's absolutely no need for that. Set it down to one again. Here was the, the Y position. That was what I was looking for. And go like that. Use own. And not show on. Well, yeah, we, we've disabled that. And remove the transparent textures. Why the hell did that move away? Get back there. I'll actually move the uh, Y position up a little bit so I want it to be somewhat up underneath it and change the... Okay, that's getting annoying. Alrighty, so now we've set up a timer for it as well. Stacks, we don't care about that because we already have set that here to only show the buff when we have a 5 stack, right? And that's about it. Isn't it? I think it is. So let's go over it again. Titanic power, five stack. We set the aura to look the way we wanted it to. We have an animation on it, that's cool. We have a timer on it. Or oh, sorry, a sound on it, the punch sound. We have a timer. And we've positioned it the right way that we wanted it to be. And, um, hmm. Yeah, that's about it. That's about it. So let's shut that down. I click on it over here bam there we go now we can just shut this down and uh, go over to the dummy so we have the killing machine proc and the titanic strength so we need um, five crits <laughs> there we go really mature <laughs> okay well let's uh, start getting some uh, some procs here There we go. Now the string is ready. And that's ready as well, so let's uh, pop all our cooldowns. See, but it won't. Yeah, it's because it won't proc the. Um... There we go. Now we can. <laughs> that's really mature. We're getting a lot of killing machine procs here. <laughs> I hope this. <laughs> okay, let's get the fuck out of here. <laughs> oh my god, that's insane. Okay, guys. Uh, I think that's about what I had to, to, do, to show you guys when it comes to these things. Um. <laughs> Okay, thanks a lot for watching guys. I hope this helped you guys out and all that and uh, take care, have fun and see you all in the next one. <laughs>